Yes, sir. Just the sound of its voice is a hit. <laughs> Y'all niggas got me really confused out there. I make Big Pimp and give it to me. One of those. Y'all help me as the greatest writer of the 21st century. I make some thought provoking shit. Y'all question whether he's falling off. I'ma really confuse y'all on this one. Follow. Like, it's free. It don't matter if you don't laugh at one joke, you didn't lose nothing coming in this motherfucker. I'm confused though, because I think I'm in the porno fucking pool. This shit just make me think I'm about to bone. And you just get your motherfucking motion. But you ain't watching the porno and the nigga don't take his shoes off and shit. Like, I'm fucked up. You supposed to be watching it for the sex, but somehow I just see this nigga got boots to fuck on. Why the fuck you fucking with boots on? Ain't this a bitch? You feel this, you get hard. If a nigga got a problem, he can't get up, just come rub this motherfucker. You gonna fuck all night long. I'm, God damn. <laughs> White motherfuckers, only motherfuckers go to the club with flip flops on the thong joints. I wish the fuck I would. Nigga gonna step on your feet fuck the whole night up. <laughs> and then look, do you go get your toes done if you wear flip flops? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> this, shit, this shit is fucking amazing, man. Anybody on Facebook in here? Everybody on Facebook. Facebook's a motherfucker, man. You think a motherfucker your friend until you walk down the street and they ride right past your ass. I thought we were dating my friend. You just like my status. Here yeah, Sunday night, Liggity Split Comedy, 4th and South, Philadelphia, PA. I got my man right here, Lamar Ty. Y'all know him, y'all love him. What's good with you? CC hey, Zone. Everything good, man. CC Zone, Chester, Pennsylvania. Stand up, you guys. Stop sitting down. Stop backing up. Real talk. So what's going on with you, man? How you been? You got anything coming up? Any any shows you been? Oh, oh, yes. We're doing a Father's Day show at the Art Garage uh, with my man Jonas and Classic. And, oh, watch out. <laughs> watch out on the 26th. We're doing something big with Blasphemy. I don't know the location yet. But it's coming up Wednesdays at the Laugh House. Holler at your boy. Mondays, I'm not doing anything. So, ladies. But um, my man Jamil B right here, man, he's a nice guy. He, Look at this, the fluffiness of this motherfucking microphone he put up here. You just don't get that, it, that, that big black is getting too close to my mouth, good brother. Come on, man, keep it professional. I know what you do after hours. I know the South Street, no 2011. But let's do this. We got some flower honeys over here. Can you tilt it over here? The, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, these are flower girls over here. Oh, okay, it's all good, don't bug her. Hey, oh, watch this, watch my Macism. Hey, ladies. Show tonight. They walk right in. As soon as I tell them, this Jamil, that's all you got to C City, Lamar Todd, Jamil B, Independent Entertainment. If we don't see you, who gonna see you, nigga? He just fucked up my whole slogan. He just, he just, he just mangled my whole slogan. I paid for that, motherfucker. Watching CUTV. Anyway, we're gonna keep this show going. It's a treat to have this motherfucker here. I swear to God, y'all might have seen him on the wire. He was he was Omar's first boyfriend. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, no, I ain't gonna do that to him. Hey yo, coming to the stage, man. They're very funny. Dude who put me on with comedy, man, a long time ago. We've been doing comedy for a minute. Ever since, I don't know, I can't, I'm just making up shit as I go along. His hat turned to the side, he's a cool <laughs> motherfucker. Put your hands together for the very funny. Can I start clapping now, y'all? Come on, come on, show him some love. Dana Stewart. Give it up for yourself. And fuck you too, Jamel, about that little wire shit. You know what I mean? But that's a real stuff what he said about people, any of y'all, people ever come to y'all tell y'all look like somebody before. Like my man, you right there the right t-shirt on. To me, no, for real. To me, you favor Ghostface. You know what I mean? Oh, some real shit. See y'all laugh. Motherfucker that me ain't talking about like the boy from the wire. But when the motherfucker was playing on a Tupac, you know, when I'm above the room, I ain't look like him then. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he... Get a, a real drug dealer roll now, I gotta look like the motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, white folks pull up on me and every goddamn thing. Like, you know who you look like? That boy from the wire. I'm like, that will, every time somebody said, give me a motherfucking dollar. I'll be richer than a motherfucker right now. Here and outside of <laughs> Lickety Split Sunday night, we got a lot of trans, uh, I was about to call them transvestites. 
We got a lot of pedestrians um, that look like transvestites. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep it moving. You watch the CU TV with your boy Jamil B. Look at these split comedy. Sunday night, 4th and South, 930, every Sunday night. You know, this... this Y'all wanna This is what the light this does. Look, this look at these split comedy Sunday nights. What's going on? Y'all wanna introduce yourself? Who are you? I'm Brooke McMorris. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm Lisa Johnson. Oh, wow, right, hey. Hi. Right. This is what the life has done for me. You know, it's just fast buses and, uh, <laughs> you know, pretty girls on South, you know, and uh, all you haters can put that in your mouth. And their mom. <laughs> They're funny as shit, so come and see them. Every and each and every Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> right. Sunday, Sunday. You just Sunday. you just made that up or you wrote that? No, she did. We're if you want me to write that, I'll know. write that. I wrote that. I wrote that. So, you heard it here first. I don't know what the oh, fuck's yeah, going on. Well, you better be good. Oh, man. Uh, I just want to... Say thanks for coming to everybody, and uh, it's a real cool thing that we got going here. Um, do you have any funny friends? You got friends that are always like, no oh, man, I'm just as funny as Chris Rock. You can find out. You can, you can film them. If they fail, you can put it on YouTube forever. It'll be on the internet, and you can make fun of them the rest of your life. And this is a serious, serious question, man. By round of applause, how many people here never masturbated before in your life? Clap it up. Yeah. Okay, we got an audience full of freaks. I like that, I like that. Tell me this though, man, tell me this, seriously, tell me. Do you guys think it's weird to masturbate and think about celebrities? Think it's weird to masturbate to celebrities? Some of you ladies probably even done it. Don't fuck, you probably rubbing off to some hot celebrity like Denzel Washington or Flavor Flav. You want us to come say something? Come on, come say something. It's, it's her friend's birthday, but I don't, she don't. She's speaking on behalf of her friend. I would like to say happy birthday to my friend Tish. Happy birthday, Tish! <laughs> You're watching CU TV every Sunday night, man. Look at these split comedy. Rain, sleet, hell, snow. If you're running from the cops, come lay. <laughs> it is. You lying like shit. I was engaged. I was engaged for a year, y'all. I'm single now. I had to dump his ass. I had to get out of it. I got real tired of him, like, leaving three ice cubes in the fucking refrigerator. He know I need six. I got, like, a real... I, I, need, I need to have... Do you miss about being engaged? I miss my bling, y'all. I really do. I miss my fuck. I gave my ring back. I did. Just so I don't know how serious I was. I was tired of shit. I gave my bling back. So now every time when I see other people with a ring to them, I be like, damn, my shit was way better than hers. <laughs> my shit was way better than yours. 